during ovarian stimulation in IVF cycle, it is usually safe in the early period, in the early phase. But later, once your ovaries have become bulky, then there is a very high risk of ovarian torsion. So, your doctor may advise you to refrain from sexual intercourse, especially if you have more follicles. Next, what about before egg retrieval? Your doctor may advise you to refrain from sexual intercourse before egg retrieval for the same reason as your ovary is bulky and there is a very high risk of ovarian torsion or some other complications. Next, what about post embryo transfer? Your doctor may advise you to refrain from sexual intercourse during the first few days but usually most doctors allow sexual intercourse unless and until there are some complications associated or in certain specific conditions. Are there any specific guidelines for sexual intercourse during an IVF treatment? Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sneha Shetty, Clinical Director, Chief Fertility Specialist, Laparoscopic Surgeon and Gynecologist working at Bricks Fertility, HSR Layout and Whitefield. Is sexual intercourse safe during fertility treatment? While generally sexual intercourse is absolutely safe, the recommendation varies on person to person and also varies based on your treatment plan. During ovarian stimulation, in IVF cycle, it is usually safe in the early period, in the early phase. But later, once your ovaries have become bulky, then there is a very high risk of ovarian torsion. So, your doctor may advise you to refrain from sexual intercourse, especially if you have more follicles. Next, what about before egg retrieval? Your doctor may advise you to refrain from sexual intercourse before egg retrieval for the same reason as your ovary is bulky and there is a very high risk of ovarian torsion or some other complications. Next, what about post embryo transfer? Your doctor may advise you to refrain from sexual intercourse during the first few days but usually most doctors allow sexual intercourse unless and until there are some complications associated or in certain specific conditions. Are there any specific guidelines for sexual intercourse during an IVF treatment? So let's divide this IVF procedure into different phases. The first phase is pre-egg retrieval. During this phase, sexual intercourse is often considered safe. However, avoid sexual intercourse in case you are having any risk of OHSs or if you experience bloating or abdominal discomfort or if you have any severe abdominal cramps. Phase number two, that is the egg retrieval and post egg retrieval. Sexual intercourse is generally avoided for a few days post the egg retrieval. Typically, a period of about abstinence from sexual intercourse for three to five days is generally recommended. This is mainly suggested in order to help you heal faster. Phase number three is post embryo transfer. Usually post embryo transfer, usually for the first few days, we advise you to refrain from lifting any heavy weights, doing any strenuous activities or having sexual intercourse. But if you are not associated with any complications or any other issues, your doctor may advise you to continue with light sexual activity after few days of the embryo transfer. This is mainly because we want you to avoid any risk of infection or any irritation to the uterus in order to not disturb the implantation process which may happen post embryo transfer. Next is post positive pregnancy test. Unless and until there is some complication in the pregnancy, your doctor will not ask you to refrain from sexual intercourse. A IVF pregnancy is just as normal as an ordinary naturally conceived pregnancy as well. So there is no need for any sexual intercourse restriction unless and until there is some issue with the pregnancy. 